I've loaded a picture from my camera onto the desktop. It can be seen on the right side. I've gone to my home page in iNaturalist and I click on this upload button. That takes me to the upload screen. I'm just going to drag and drop the uh, picture I loaded. I loaded it from my camera already onto my desktop to make my life easier. This one, uh, this one, I, I'm pretty certain I know what this is. It's a Kalinkoe panada. If I can spell it correctly, it's this one here. And I'm going to have to set the location because I don't have that location correct. So, because I'm, I, or, okay. In this case, it is correct. It's picked up the location from the photograph. But if it did not, I would have to go to this screen to set the location. That is indeed where that plant is growing. It wasn't planted. Uh, it's about 20 years ago, there was a plant located uh, closer to, the, uh, to this house here. And that plant is long gone. And this is just some distant offspring of it. It's uh, growing just as essentially a weed at this point. Now one thing I do need to fill in is the accuracy. That accuracy is quite good. That's within a couple of meters maybe. Um, these are about two meters. Uh, it's, that's, that's exactly where that seedling is located. If you go to that place, that's, that's where it is. That's a very tight accuracy. It's about two meters. The rest I can leave alone. It picked up the latitude and longitude, but I do have to fill in the accuracy here. And I can update that observation with that. This is, uh, so that, that's correct. The date and time are correct. I just took the picture, so that is correct. But if I needed to, I could adjust the date and the time from here. And uh, this is uh, simply, uh, this was not planted. This uh, came up of its own accord. There was one, as I say, planted about 20 years ago, but it's uh, long gone and not at this location. Uh, this is a, a ways away from where it was planted. Undoubtedly, as I said, a descendant. And uh, so I don't have to mark it as captive and cultivated, but if it was captive or cultivated, I would certainly want to check it here. This is if I had planted this plant intentionally, I would put it there. And if I need to add any tags or fields, I can, which I, which I don't. And it's, this one is not captive, not cultivated. So at this point, all I have to do is submit that one observation. And I'll submit that. It'll tell me it's saving the observation. Um, there are, it is possible to do multiple at one time, but basically there seems to be better results if you simply go one by one upload each one one at a time. So now there's the Kalankoe mark there as you can see uh, at A that's buried in here somewhere on the map underneath some other pegs you can't quite see but if you zoom in you do eventually find it it's buried underneath some of these other pegs in here underneath that M peg somewhere is the uh, there's a bunch of pegs there. So that's all there is to uploading if you have to upload from a camera or from a uh, another device you just have to get it into your computer and then you can use the uploader on the desktop that's all there is